Do you know what a seismometer is? It's a machine that measures earthquakes and other movement. Here's how you make a really simple one that can detect movements that you make in your house. Here's what you'll need to make one. A cardboard box with its flaps cut off, a plastic cup, a felt tip marker, some string, a cup of small rocks, some clay, and some paper. Okay, here's how you make it. First, take a box and open the top, and then cut off the flaps. After you've done that, using scissors, poke two holes near the center of the top of the box. Make sure they're kind of close to each other. Then, you want to take a pla your plastic cup and poke a hole in the bottom, like this one, and a hole along the rim, and one exactly opposite that, so they kind of line up. Like that. Right. Then you want to take your marker and place it through the bottom hole. Make sure the pointy side is facing out. So, put it through. Then you take your clay yep. and you wrap it around the hole so the marker doesn't move. So why don't I do it on both sides? Okay. Okay. All right. So you do the outside, I'll do the inside. There we go. Yeah, that's good. So it should look like that. All right. Then, take a piece of string that you've cut, it doesn't need to be too long, and thread it through the two holes that you've put on the rim of the cup. So, one, and, and two. two, and go. Okay. Good, just like that. Then, take the string and put it through the holes at the top of the box. Try to make it so the string is evenly inside. Okay. That's what, so basically what we're going to do is we're going to hang it yeah. from the inside. You want to make it so that the tip of the marker can just touch the bottom okay. of the box. There's one. Get one. Okay. Two. Pop comes the string. And right. you want to pull it up. Keep going. Hold on, let me take the cap off. Okay. Fix this clay. Come when you're ready. Um... A little more, a little higher. Just like that? Not a little lower. Okay, right there. A little higher, a little lower. Now, you want to fill your cup about three-fourths of the way with something to weigh it down. But like marbles or bolts or anything heavy will work. We're going to use rocks. Okay. So now, fill it just a little bit. Is it touching the bottom? I'm going to see that right now. Oh, look in here. Just oh, a little too high. Is it? Yeah, but there we go. Got it. So that's done. OK. Then cut a piece of paper and put one end of it underneath the marker. Right. Make sure the marker is just touching the paper. Just touching? Yep. There we go, just touching. All right, so let's. You ready? Okay. Now, someone's gonna now you're gonna tap it. I'm gonna pull it out. Okay. Whoa. Did it work? Yeah. Whoa, cool. That looked really good. Looks just like our huge earthquake hit. You wanna see if we can find different ways to move the box, but like without touching it? Okay. What if we like pound it on the table while somebody else pulled a piece of paper out? Okay. Can I pound it on the table? Yeah. All right, come over here. Let's put that down right there. Okay. Okay, just tell me when. Um, okay, go ahead. Ready? Yep. Whoa! Okay. Look at it. <laughs> the line, it's like dots. All dots. Because it's bouncing, it's going up and down. Yeah. The marker was going up and down. Yeah, I could see it from the box. So, yeah. is there anything else you think might have affected that? Besides the pounding on the table, or the weight in the cup made it bounce up and down in the yeah. in the Maybe rope. if we did something else to the cup, like add less rocks or more rocks, that might also work. Make a seismometer at home and try making some changes so that it can detect really small movements, like singing or talking softly. You can try putting the holes in the box closer together or add more weight to the cup. Mm -hmm.